Alright, in this example we have two components. We have a driveway component shown here in yellow and we have a regular curb and gutter component shown here in red. And what we want to do is use style constraints to determine whether to place the curb and gutter or the driveway component. What we have is we have a few alignments already out in our plan view, out in our geometry project. Let's turn those on to look at them. Uh, we have driveway 1, 2, and 3. We're going to add those as display references so we can see them in our designer. And we, we, what we want to happen is um, whenever we see one of these horizontal alignments that have the style driveway, uh, we want to turn off the curve and gutter and place the driveway. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our template to do that. And the first thing I'm going to do is above my template I'm going to place a null point that will do my testing for me. And I'm going to give that a horizontal constraint just to keep it over to the left of my center line. And I'm going to give it a name right driveway. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a style constraint so that whenever it sees a style over here on the right side that has one of those uh, one of those alignments that have the driveway style it will go over there so I'm going to edit point and down here in style constraint I'm going to turn it on give it a horizontal style constraint and I'm going to come down and pick the driveway style so what will happen is uh, when it sees that driveway style out there it'll this horizontal style constraint will override my horizontal constraint and it'll cause my right driveway point to move over indicating that I do have a driveway. So what I'll do is I'll put a display rule in these two components um, to test the position of my right driveway relative to my center line. And to do that I'm going to first edit my driveway component, create a new display rule, I'm going to add a new one and this one is going to be right driveway is going to be the display rule. And it's just going to be a simple horizontal. We're just going to test the horizontal position of two points. We're going to test right driveway versus the center line. What it's going to do is it's going to take right driveway minus the center line. And if that becomes a positive number, if it's greater than zero, then we know we have a driveway case. So I'm going to go ahead and add this display rule. Um, currently it's solving to false. I'm going to go ahead and add selected rule to my display rule. And as soon as I hit apply and close, it turns that off. For my curb and gutter, I want just the opposite, so I'm going to right click edit component. And I'm going to say not driveway. Okay. Now just to test that, what I can do is uh, temporarily delete my horizontal constraint and then I'm going to move my point. And as I move it to the left of the center line, um, it'll switch out my driveway components. I'm going to undo uh, to get my horizontal constraint back, just uh, to have it sitting there. And now, when I apply my template to my roadway, which it is because I already added that in my roadway designer, uh, any area there where I have this horizontal alignment out there, it's going to switch from curb and gutter. And let's go look at that. So we have curb and gutter, curb and gutter, and then now we've switched to a station where we have a driveway and it's putting our driveway component in there.